this thing, it's come back for me. This demon was once an angel, rejected by God, stripped of power. It wants that power back. In the shadowy depths of an ancient abbey, a sinister force awakens, threatening to plunge the world into darkness. A valiant group of individuals embarks on a harrowing journey to confront this malevolent entity. As secrets unravel and terror looms, they must battle their deepest fears to save humanity. Get ready for a spine-chilling cinematic experience like no other. The movie is set in Tarascon, France, in the year 1956. Jacques, played by Maxime Elias Menet, a young child, arrives at a church to meet Father Noiret, played by Pascal Albert, for their daily responsibilities. As Jacques walks to the lower level of the church, he hears a disturbance followed by a tremendous glass crack. He grabs Moiret and leads him to the altar, when Moiret is thrown up into the air and set on fire. Jacques departs the area before Valak Sol, played by Bonnie Ahrens, arrives. Sister Irene, played by Tisa Farmiga, has joined the new coven in Italy after her previous encounter with Valak. She has made friends with a younger nun, Sister Deborah, played by Storm Reed, who has a habit of defying the seniors' norms. Irene overhears one of the other nuns telling the younger sisters about her encounter with Valak, however the elder nun never names Irene. Maurice A.K. Frenchie played by Jonas Bloquet works in a boarding school in France. He is friendly with Kate, played by Anna Popowell, the schoolteacher, and has a wonderful relationship with Kate's daughter, Sophie played by Caitlin Rose Downey. Sophie is bullied by the other girls at school, and Maurice constantly intervenes to defend her. The school is managed by Madame Laurent played by Suzanne Burdish, a severe mother who is also mourning the death of her son Cedric. A boy doing deliveries in a neighboring town becomes lost and is pursued by a demonic presence. Valak arrives and grabs the child's neck before snapping it. Irene has a dream that she is following Maurice down an alley, where he appears demonic and possessed, pleading for her rescue. Following that, Irene is called to a meeting with Cardinal Conroy played by David Horovich and other church elders. She learns of Father Noiret's death, as well as the deaths of numerous other church officials, who were discovered dead under inexplicable and horrible circumstances. Irene is aware that Valak has returned, but she initially refuses to investigate. When Irene inquires about Father Burke, she is informed that he died of cholera. Irene decides to go, accompanied by Deborah who explains her personal motivation for wanting to help. She had lost her mother in a fire committed by racists. Sophie gets approached at school by the previous mean girls, who appear regretful and offer her to play a game. They carry her up to the school's closed-off chapel, where they challenge her to look at a window with a mosaic of a goat, stating that if Sophie looks away, the devil would come for her. The sun shines through the mosaic, turning the goat's eyes red. As Sophie tries to escape, the girls lock her in, and she sees a vision of Valak. Maurice opens the door and lets her out before scolding the other girls and leaving Sophie with Kate. Deborah and Irene arrive in Tarascon. The nuns then travel to the church and chat with a member who claims Valak has returned after marking Maurice during his attempt to save Irene. During a night on the streets, Irene finds Jacques and attempts to question him about what he witnessed when Warette was killed, as he just snatched a rosary from him out of fear. Jacques then vanishes amid a swarm of adolescents playing in the streets. Irene follows him and comes upon a newsstand where the magazines and newspapers all flip their pages to create a picture of Valak. As Irene approaches, the lights flicker on and off until Valak comes and attacks her, knocking her out. Deborah locates Irene and arranges for her medical attention. Irene talks to Deborah privately about Maurice, telling her that Valak is using him to get to an artifact after which she'll kill him. Deborah reveals that she met Jacques and shows Irene the rosary he gave her. Meanwhile, Madame Laurent is investigating by herself at the chapel after knowing Sophie was there and claimed to have seen something. She notices Cedric running around and cling out to her. Valak pulls her into a trap and then murders her. The nuns continue their investigation by traveling to Auvignon and speaking with a librarian about Valak at the Palais de Papes. Irene and Deborah discover that Valak is pursuing an artifact known as the Eyes, which belonged to Saint Lucy, the martyr who refused to die after being set on fire. The victims, according to the librarian, were Lucy's descendants, and the Eyes were last seen in a monastery that is now the boarding school. Irene and Deborah go to the school and find the Eyes. Valak starts wreaking havoc on the possessed Frenchie and summons a demon goat to attack the girls. Irene guards Sophie while Deborah and Kate are placed in the care of the bigger group of girls. The goat pursues the girls and transforms into a dead Madame Laurent to frighten them. In the ensuing chaos, the bell tower of the school collapses, but none of the girls are hurt. Irene comes across Maurice, whose possession has progressed far enough for Valak to attempt to seize control. Deborah arrives to assist Irene in her attempt to exorcise Maurice using the eyes. It appears to begin killing Maurice, and he stops moving. Irene begins to grieve for her friend, but he resurrects, and Valak uses him to grasp the eyes and emerge in his real demon nun form. The demon attempts to set Irene on fire, but she is a descendant of Saint Lucy, and her fire goes out. They pray hard enough, with Deborah's help, to save Maurice and turn the wine in the room into the blood of Christ. The barrels explode and drench Valak, sending the demon back to hell. Maurice regains consciousness and rejoins Kate and Sophie. 
While Irene is delighted to see her friend, as is Maurice, she stares at him with concern. During the credits, Ed played by Patrick Wilson and Lorraine Warren played by Vera Farmiga receive a call from Father Gordon about one of Alex's hauntings. As we unravel the mysteries of this chilling cinematic journey, remember, the darkness holds many secrets. What's the true nature of the malevolent entity? What other sinister forces might be lurking in the shadows of the Abbey? Share your theories and questions in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video give a like and don't forget to subscribe for more spine-tingling movie explorations.